Hello class, good afternoon. So today let's talk about the modes of reproduction in animals. So we have two modes of reproduction in animals, namely asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. So when you say asexual reproduction, a mode of reproduction where only one parent is involved and no reproductive cells or gametes are involved. So you don't need a male to um, reproduce so only the mother animal will um, involve or is involved in this reproduction so the first example is budding is a type of a sexual reproduction where the parent organisms produces outgrows cold buds the buds may break off and a new organism emerges budding occurs in hydra as well as in is sponges and some worms so this one is an example of hydra and the yellow one is an example of sponges budding begins under indifferentiated cells on the side of the parent hydra and undergo repeated divisions producing a small amount of cells and these cells continue to divide in a few days a small complete hydra will mount and tentacles is Form. The hydra bud eventually separates from the parents and both hydras and sponges can produce or reproduce using sexually and asexually. So that's how the hydra um, reproduce from the buds, then it will become cell and continue to divide, then later on it will um will be complete baby hydra then it will separate from the mother hydra next is regeneration so regeneration is the ability of organisms to grow lost body parts simple animals such as planaria starfish earthworm have the ability to regenerate lost parts so it means that the lost part will be back again after a few days or months so, a good example of this one is stated here, Planaria starfish and earthworm. Actually, so let's proceed first with Planarians. Planarians belongs to the group of flatworms and they are very um, sensitive to lights and they cannot form images and most of the eyes of many animals can. Planarian feed on the small animals on the dead animal matters, groups on feet of each side of the head can sense food. So, Planarian can regenerate into an entire animal from a fairly small segment. So, if you will cut the Planarians, they will generate into a small or entire um animal okay, or baby planarians but planarians can also reproduce using sexual reproduction next is starfish starfish belong to the group called spiny skin animals the body of the starfish consists of a central disc from which the arms rajit Actually, starfish um, feeds on oyster, but the oyster harvests used to destroy the starfish they caught by cutting them into pieces and toasting the pieces back into the water. So after this, um, starfish will cut into fishes and okay, these oysters did not know that the each part of a starfish can regenerate into a whole new organism as long as it contains a piece of the central disc. Note, it should contain a piece of the central disc so that this um, piece of a starfish can regenerate into new or baby starfish. So here is an example the um how do starfish regenerate
but starfish can also reproduce through sexual reproduction. So let's proceed to earthworms. Earthworms belongs to the group of called segmented worms. The body of earthworms is cylindrical and divided into ring-like segments on each segment except for the first and the last air pairs are pairs of tiny bristles called setae that help the worm to move so again it's like uh, it is divided into ring like segment that's why we call it as segmented worms so this is how um segmented worms regenerate actually on each segment the first and the last are pairs of tiny bristles called setae. So, just like in planarians, earthworms are sensitive to heat, light, and touch. They may be reproduced both asexually and sexually. So, that is earthworm. Now, let's produce proceed to parthenogenesis this mode of reproduction is usually found in females where growth and development of embryos occurs without fertilization by a male so example of these are wasps bees and ants they don't need males in um reproduction Actually, in um, in ants or in bees, the queen bee mates only once. She can then produce either unfertilized eggs or fertilized eggs. The unfertilized eggs will become male drones, while the fertilized eggs will become female workers or queens. Here are the advantages and disadvantages of a sexual reproduction. So, advantages of a sexual reproduction, animals that remain alone in one particular area can propagate since there is no, um, since there, there is no fertilization uh, process and you do not need another, um, parent in order to reproduce these um, animals can propagate alone numerous offspring can be reproduced without costing the parents a great amount of energy and time since this is a sexual reproduction um, the parents will not um, exert too much energy and time for reproduction and the last one is a large number of population can be reproduced in a short period of time just like in starfish while the disadvantages of a sexual reproduction all the organisms are genetically identical and therefore share the same weakness for example if the parents um, have sickness the offsprings probably will adapt this sickness or will in inherit this sickness if the stable environment changes the consequence could be fatal or deadly to all the individuals or to all the animals next is sexual reproduction in animals so in sexual reproduction two parent organisms are involved a while ago, in a sexual reproduction, you only need one parent in order to reproduce. While in sexual reproduction, the male and the female must be needed. When the egg cell unites with the sperm cell, the process called fertilization happens and the new cell that is formed is called zygote. Then the zygote develops and grows into a new animal. The baby animal carries the characteristics of the female and male, and that is sexual reproduction. So, we have hermaphrodites. Hermaphrodites, animal contains both testes and ovaries. Hermaphrodism is a common slow-moving or sessile animals such as earthworms, snails, and hydra. We t um, I said a while ago that hydra and earthworms even they can um, reproduce asexually they can also reproduce sexually and they are called the hermaphrodites animals